You don't even have mitts on. Don't throw it at me. Molly. Good morning, guys. Welcome to you today. Winter has arrived, you guys. It has arrived. It's literally November the 1st, and we are under snow. It is not my favorite. Where's the baby goat? In the stall. You keep her in the stall when you do chores? Okay. Only when I have to go out, get the wheelbarrow, but she does not like snow. I have to drive her. Where is she? Oh. She does not look happy. She just looks frozen. Penny, you are messy. Sure. Um hay bags are still working and they're magic. We're loving them. Are we loving the hay bale, Sam? I like them too. What? Storm pulls his out and throws it on the ground. We love them, they probably hate them. Hi, oh, little baby. <laughs> Isn't she so cute? She looks huge in the camera. She's actually really tiny. She stays with me, and if she has any dirt on her face, she wipes it on my leg. <laughs> yeah, she does not like dirt to be dirty. She's not like right. snow or cold either. Horses are eating. Look at that. Snow is pretty. It's just also cold. My goal today was to come out here and clean up this poo. <laughs> now it's under snow. The goat's bells make me think of Santa Claus. Every time I hear them, now the snow's on the ground, and when I hear the bells, it totally reminds me of Christmas. So let's talk goat breeding. Wow, you guys poop a lot. So, whoops. The sure sign that your goat is bred, I mean, obviously it's not for sure, for sure, but the most accurate thing that we can do without an ultrasound is to see if your goats come back into heat. And our goats are officially due to be in heat today. One of them was supposed to come into heat yesterday and one today and there's been no sign of heat. So it looks like we were successful and our goats are bred. That is exciting. So we should officially have babies the very first week of March, you guys. The first week of March, this barn is going to be full of the pitter patter of little baby feet and I am so excited. I actually wanted April babies, but I was nervous that they weren't going to get pregnant right away, even though I suspected they would. So I decided to start a month early so that I had like some wiggle room. I had some time to figure things out. Yeah. I think they got pregnant the very first time. Now that it's cold, I'm also having to feed the goats more food to keep them warm and help maintain their pregnancies. So before I was just trying to maintain their pregnancy and now I'm trying to keep them warm as well. They're eating so much more hay than they've ever eaten before. So while the feeders worked really well in the summer when they were out browsing most of the time, I noticed now that they're dumping all of it onto the ground. So they're pulling it out and they're standing on it and peeing on it so they're not eating all as much as they were eating before. I'm having to use more hay more often. So I might have to try and figure out a better way. Have you seen feeders that have like, not chicken wire, but bigger kind of netting? inside them like this and then they have to pull the hay through the little spots it just makes the spots where they get the hay smaller than this because this stuff it just they just are pulling it right out so i literally just asked sophie to go feed the cat because we haven't seen him in a few days and every time we don't see him for a few days we get so nervous and he's here he's chunky too and he's look chunky at look at him he's huge compared here, to pick him up and put him in the light she came in to feed him and he was just sitting there. He was sitting up there. Yeah, look at how chunky he is. He's so He wants his food, but look at how cute. We got lucky. We got two gorgeous cats. I love orange cats. Like, yeah, and I love him. Specific, Such a cutie patootie. White. Yeah, orange and white are my favorite. Especially, he's got such a different kind of fur. He's so thick all the time, even in summer. I know. So thick. Anyway. Tell them what you said about the barn when you came in. 
it's toasty warm. It's like walking into the house. What's the, the horse barn like? Cold. Yeah. So the bar, horse barn is up on a hill. This is kind of built into the ground. Toasty warm. I got gloves on and I'm literally boiling. But yeah, we're so happy to see you. I think I'm going to set this thing up for him now. I just don't know. We need more cat food? Yeah. All right. With all the animals that we have, we literally buy food every day, don't we? For something some, from somebody. Yesterday we got great horse grain. The day before we got yeah, goat we, grain. Did we get cadence? Yeah. Oh, is it still in the truck? Yeah. But I want to plug this thing in for him. When I do this, it still hurts. Because I got noodled three times. Noodled? Needled. Oh yeah, so she had needles yesterday and her arms are hurting. So if you don't know, this is like a heating mat for animals. And I want to make it into like a really nice little warm area for him. I want to push it kind of up like this so that he can lay his body here but then also lay up against it. But it's pretty like out of the wind in here. And like I said, it's warm. Anya and Ellie wrestle. Yeah, I have a bunch of videos of Anya and Ellie wrestling to the death. All right, we are done. Okay, I gotta grab the barn, is, barn is clean. Wake up! To my legs, right? Yeah, Sophie had a Charlie, Charlie horse this morning. She's never had one before. Huh? A Charlie horse. What's that? What you had this morning. It, it was a leg. Yeah, that's what it is. And her leg still hurts. That's happened to me before too. So today Sam is determined to build me a goat area. I'll show you. He actually wants to fence in an area. I think he should fence in this area. But I don't think that will work. I think he has to fence in that area there. He just wants to put a wall there so that the goats can come around and be out of the wind. Even though we're trying to we're trying to figure out time to do that. And today is the day. But then we woke up and the furnace is broken. So now we have to wait for the furnace guy and we're having lessons today. Sophie called Lucy and she just started waddling her little butt over here. I love the ducks waddle. I know I do too. Sophie said she that the boy goat will never be your baby daddy because he's leaving soon. Don't tell Gabby but her car is getting quite messy. <laughs> Gabby has OCD for sure and she does not like her car being dirty. Well, we woke up this morning, the furnace had stopped working sometime in the night, but we were nice and toasty warm. Fortunately for us, this house has a wood stove and it has a fireplace and we have this little fireplace that we run all the time. We got this, it was in a TV stand. It was like a built-in fireplace TV stand and this thing works amazing. So Sam called the furnace guy and he's supposed to come anytime today. We have a lesson. Sylvia has a lesson at two. So we're kind of trying to, we're hoping that he comes before then, but if he doesn't come before then, then Sylvia won't get her lesson today. Ellie is an ankle biter. She doesn't, I never understood that term before, but now I get it. She doesn't bite our ankles, but she bites the dog's ankles. That's fancy. I like what you're doing. And now it's snowing. I don't actually know what you're doing. Did you do anything else? Well, I was gonna take this off. I forgot my hammer. Oh. I'll have to, in the summertime. Take it off? Take this off and redo it. So you're gonna do all the way up? I should actually replace all of this, because it's all... Well, I wanted to do all the way up, but I forgot my ladder too, so... So did you do anything else? Yeah, go around the corner. Okay. There's a hidden door here. Don't tell the goats. <laughs> Lock me in quick! <laughs> Because that boy goat is just standing right there. I love it! I was thinking it should go over there to protect from the wind better, but I love it. You are absolutely amazing. I love it, you guys. This is what he built. So the reason he built it is because it's gonna get cold soon. I mean, it already is cold. I love it, Sam. Stop the snow from going down. I was just, thinking they wanna look out though, so I I should have had like a window. Oh, they have this whole thing here to look yeah, out. Yeah. So the reason I like it over there is because the food and the water is over there. So that would really help. Yeah. I love it. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do they love it? It's their little hut. So uh, maybe I should get more straw and put it out here. I definitely think I'm going to get a bunch of straw and put it over here because 
then they can make like a little area to lay down. But what do you guys think? I think this is so cozy and so cool. I'm obsessed with it. It's times like this, it makes me realize how lucky I am, Sam. So this is where Sophie and I sit. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. What do you guys think? It is so cozy in here. It'll still be freezing in the winter, but not nearly as bad. So I'm definitely gonna put a bunch of hay over there. Or I might even put like, get them to build like a box that they can go into. Stop fighting. Be nice to one another. Hey, be nice. That's a baby for goodness sake. We don't hurt other people's babies. How many times do I have to tell you? So I noticed that they're not eating this hay right here. See that hay versus this hay. I'm gonna probably take this out and fill it with fresh hay because our goats are picky. Goats are picky. So I emptied it. I was gonna dump it in the poop pile, but then I was thinking that's, it's just hay that they don't, older hay that they haven't been eating. Now they're eating it, of course. Um, so that's, that's just as good as straw. I have to come through here. So I like to keep this thing full of hay, fresh hay, that everybody can eat. I think I'm gonna get more. Because what happens is the most dominant goats, and Ellie, get down! Hey, oh my gosh. What are you thinking? So the most, the most dominant goats will eat where they want to eat, and then who's ever kind of left, so if I only have hay in one side, then only one, oh, get out of there. <laughs> I can't vlog anymore. Come on, come on out. Good girl, good girl. Oh my gosh, that was the easiest time. Almost, uh. Mocha, out. Oh. All right, so everybody's got lots of hay. So what I was trying to say, you guys probably already guessed it, but whoever is the most dominant, will get the most hay, or if there's only one side available, they'll push each other off. So I like to have as much hay on there as possible so that everybody gets a chance to eat, even the babies. Oh, look, she loves it. Look, she loves it. She's sharpening her horns. Isn't that adorable? She notices, she's like, it's new. I love it. It is so cozy. I can't wait for Sophie to see it. She's gonna fall in love with it. I'm not gonna tell her. I'm just gonna let her see it tomorrow. I understand now why he wants to build that all the way up so that the snow doesn't come in. This weekend is the Royal Winter Fair. We are gonna be there on Saturday. So if you are gonna be there on Saturday, please come and say hi to us. We love that so much. Comment below if you're actually going to the Royal. Honestly, Ellie is so intent on biting Ruby's ankles that she just runs into you. She trips you. So uh, this year we're going with a group of friends to the Royal and Elizabeth will be there and the Barn Boots family will be there and it is going to be a whole lot of fun. Don't you know that you're beautiful?